Look at the pretty pink bird. Good morning. It's unfortunately our last day in Curacao, but we're going to start off with a nice run and try to see some flamingos. Lovely ladies who we're going to take the run with. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Katja Vogels. And hi, hi I'm Annette. Best yes. Friend. And you both work for a long time. Yeah, yes. we both work for a right? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 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 And Very I cool. uh, love to run with uh, our guest students. And you do this every Tuesday, right? Every Tuesday. So Katja was just telling that they adopted this area as Lion's Dive, which means they clean up the mess of other people. <laughs> this is kind of a natural museum. There's another car. It really, really reminds me of Harry Potter's forest. <laughs> this is so funny. So they leave this because, well, it gives character, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. That's quite cool. Wow, look at this view. So we're going to run downstairs. Look at the pretty pink bird. Look at all the salt, man. This is so surreal. So sorry about the wind, but it's a really cold area. Come on, baby, run. So this is the Makamba bomb, and Makamba means white person, white right? Person, in, yeah. in Papiamento? In the, yeah, in Papiamento. In Papiamento, it's the Makamba. Ah, okay. And that means uh, this this tree. Yeah. Um, it like like we got sunburn. Yeah. It means that the white people the get white sunburned. People, yeah. White people get sunburned, and then our skin co comes off, and it's the same with this tree. That's yeah. Why we mentioned <laughs> it's the Makamba tree. Yeah, I already yeah. said like, oh my gosh, this is this is not a coincidence because I got such a bad sunburn from Clan Curacao yesterday. This is my tree, man. This is my this is my soul tree. <laughs> also, do you see these lava walls? This is like the origins of Curacao, like way way back. See this? The original original Curacao lava floor, and you can like have a run over it. Then you come up. And this is your view. Incredible. Look at that cactus over there. So cool. And you can see the ocean over there. This is so much fun and the views are absolutely stunning. I think like if you're staying at Lion's Dive, this is a must-do activity. You you need to stalk Katja for it. <laughs> they also have like an ocean swim every Monday and Wednesday, right? Yeah, oh, every Monday and Wednesday. And then you swim around this area. And after the workout, it's a wonderful breakfast! So we are now going to Hemingway to have a drink and I am going to eat. Well, thank you so much for this experience, ladies. You're it welcome, was really, welcome. really so much fun. Can highly recommend you to do this. So every, when do you go for a run? On the Tuesday morning I will go for a run and on the Monday morning I will do the swim around. Yes, so stalk her. Yeah. <laughs> Hope to see you all. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I am seriously ashamed of myself how badly I got sunburned. Like, you have to see this. Look at this. Look at this. And it's also like here and also here. And my back is just... I'm just so ashamed of myself. I'm 32. I know the risks of skin cancer and this is just... Horrible. I don't even mind the pain. It's just that I know it's really really bad for your skin Use sunscreen all the time right now. I'm just going to pack. Oh, by the way Behind the scenes behind the scenes filming the morning routine video I think I'm gonna put this in the video as well behind the scenes behind the scenes <laughs> I have packed all the stuff and it's well, it's Luckily not yet time to say goodbye to Curacao or the Lions Dive Resort. I just have to check out But the one thing that I really want to do is just this ah, no, no, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving Call the police, I'm not leaving, I'm not freaking leaving <laughs> That's what I actually want to do, but of course I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna behave and say goodbye to this wonderful view This is like a childhood dream come true. I always went on holidays with my parents and of course um, yeah being refugees and building a new life they weren't able to afford this and I feel so lucky that I'm at this point of my life that I'm able to see this. When he used to work in a corporate environment 
I uh, I also went on these kind of holidays only I wasn't vlogging then which is really a shame because I honestly do believe that if you work hard and have limited holiday days it is like gold to invest in your uh, free time and in quality free time and to be in a place where you can really like relax and you know become fully powered up again to work hard when you get back home so yeah I'm very happy to be able to share this with you because I wasn't able to share it back then all right we're checked out but we still have like two hours to kill and of course of course we're going to hang out at this gorgeous beach you can't just wake up every morning to this view and not swim in it right but we do need a place with shade and I think I'm going to swim with my t-shirt because of the stupid sunburn yeah here's a nice spot in the shade look at this view yeah this is quite a good way to spend the last few hours by the way snapchat E Perko Beach it's down in the description below if you're not following me yet follow me on snapchat because I just got well actually a couple of days ago I got the best snap ever it was a challenge from rashida with a picture of macarons and i had to guess the flavors uh, <coughs> uh, those are my favorite snaps i have decided you can send me food challenges or pictures of your meal or candy or whatever or things that i have to try food snaps that's what i'm all about we're going in for a final swim and then it's time to take a shower, have lunch, and one of you is stalking me to have some ice cream because apparently they have really good ice cream here at the boulevard. Thank you, I don't mind you stalking me for good ice cream. Okay, if they would just stop drilling for a minute, I could tell you that I knew there was like a shower space here like if you already checked out and everything so you can take a shower after you uh, still spend time at the beach but it, it's a really nice shower look at that i did not expect this all the towels more towels over her and a shower that's really nice it is now 2 24 i'm just going to try to have some lunch and also find the ice cream you've been recommending i'm now at the chew and grill bar it's also uh, part of the lion's dive resort beach is behind me and i got a lunch of a cheese panini esther wants me to get an ice cream next uh, at the ice cream store next to the flip-flop shop there we go flip-flop shop and this is supposed to be an ice cream store lol i just paid six euros <laughs> for this ice cream okay so i got mango frozen yogurt i got pineapple frozen yogurt shredded coconut some muesli and chocolate and mm. it is very good on a hot day i actually don't even like ice cream that much just when it's really hot this is good and that's it i got the suitcases and all the luggage in the car let's go see diddy Bye, wonderful lion's dive. Bye, bye. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for showing You're me welcome. around. You're welcome. For having fun, and I hope to come back. Yes, me too. It'll yeah. be fun. Bye. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm. So sad to say goodbye. Can I just tell you a quick little story before we head to the airport? Didi and I have been friends for a really long time, like almost 13 years. So for the last six years, we grew apart. She moved here and I didn't talk to her at all. And just recently before I left, I ran into a friend, a mutual friend who told me like, oh my gosh, you're going to Curacao. Didi lives in Curacao now. And I was like, okay, but I haven't talked to her for like five or six years. Isn't it weird to send her a message? Maybe she doesn't even want to talk to me or any anything. So I wasn't planning on contacting her. And at one point I was just like, you know what? Just send her a message and let her decide if she wants to talk to you or not. And she sent me like the sweetest reply and we totally rekindled. And what I'm trying to say with this, if you've been friends with someone and they've been a really good friend, like Didi is still a really good friend of mine. Like after all these years, nothing has changed. She's still like the biggest sweetheart with a golden heart. And uh, like if you 
if you've had such a friend and you got out of touch send them a message like really I'm so happy to have, to have been able to spend time with her and you know share stories and she's coming to Holland and we're probably gonna meet up again send your friend a message like really if they're a good person they deserve to be in your life and you deserve to be in their life okay so after this emo talk let's go to the airport We're at the airport, let's return the car. Okay, so we're first going to check the car if I didn't mess it up and everything. Just taking out my luggage. Checking the gas. You have to return it uh, at the same level as it was when you got the car. So I got this back from the lady. It's like the car care control paper. So how much did we drive actually? Let me see. Wow. We drove more than 500 kilometers in six days. Holy smackers. And then we give this lovely paper and key to the lady. Hello. Also leave. And that's it. I just got this back and it was easy peasy. So I was very foolish thinking that I could walk in Curacao. It's not possible. <laughs> you need a car. Uh, you can, you know, cycle around the island, but if you've seen the roads a little bit, like it's it's not really safe. The way I've seen Curacao, it's only possible with a car, so I would highly recommend you to do that. Cab cabs are quite expensive, so just save yourself some hassle. <laughs> the link for Sunny Cars is down in the description below. If you're interested, they helped me out on this trip with the with the rental car. So yeah, I really like. Well, I, I dropped my suitcase. I really like the, the efficiency and the no deposit uh, thingy because I didn't have to turn in my credit card details or anything or give out a deposit. It was it was cool. It was really nice. Brooke, we're so badass on time. The flight leaves at uh, 6:30. It is now 4:30. Like we have two hours to check in and get through passport control and security. That was fast. 15 minutes. Boom, boom, security. Boom, boom, passport control. Boom, boom. <laughs> Going on to the airplane. Yeah, thank you well. Middle seat this time. Okay. There might be a free seat next to me. Big thing is in the house, and I also got in the train. Damn, that security control coming from Curacao. Home sweet home. Stefan is unfortunately in London, so I'll have to wait a little bit more to give him a hug. We just uh, tried this one, and it's, it's the first 70% chocolate it's in the world made by Valorna. If you like this vlog, please put a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I make travel vlogs like these every day that I'm traveling. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.